Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Well, we got some rain. Well, many of us got some rain out of the weekend. How'd we do? Well, we didn't do a whole lot, but at least, as I said, we did get some with some official totals showing up as Port Isabel, more than half an inch, almost three quarters of an inch. Harlingen, uh, again, much the same. Westlaco, the same. McAllen, a little less. Hidalgo County really kind of got gypped in the whole thing. Some observer totals uh, coming in to the National Weather Service, kind of a little separate deal there. South Padre Island, 6,800s, again, shy of three-fourths of an inch. Port Mansfield, almost nine-tenths of an inch. That's pretty good. And uh, the Harlingen uh, Ag Observer got more than an inch. My house, mm, I pretty much got about 1.6 near Harlingen. And Mercedes, you, you got the lion's share there with 2.11. San Manuel and much of uh, rural Hidalgo County only seeing trace amounts to hundreds of an inch. We're looking at a Tuesday forecast of 90 to 99 degrees. Humidity is going to start to come back a little bit more throughout the day and then on into Wednesday. Futurecast indicates that winds will be shifting back to the southeast eventually, and that's going to bring back the higher humidity and the warmer temperatures pushing on into Wednesday. You can see just a few clouds as well. Relative humidity. The deeper the green, the stickier, <laughs> the more humid. And you can see that on through Tuesday, still not too bad, but then on Wednesday you can see the deeper greens really starting to come back over deep south Texas, letting us know that it will be more humid moving into the middle part of the week. As we move toward the end of the week, another frontal boundary is expected to come on down. This one not expected to produce as widespread a shower action as this last one. And I know some of you are thinking, what do you mean? I didn't get anything out of the last one. Well, you'll probably have even less of a chance out of this one. But still, it's a chance. And the cool down would only be a degree or two. Here's your seven-day forecast showing the opportunity for showers ahead of the front into the weekend and then trailing off on Sunday. High temperatures will still be in the 90s, but again, a couple degrees cooler behind the front, even if it's able to pass through. That's a look at your 